how's it going? Steve with Ripcord Industries. I'm here with Mike from Criterion Barrels. I want to do a quick plug for the uh, for the rifles here. This one is one of our Clear Anno full builds. It's a 14.5. This one's actually a machine gun. It's pretty cool. The Clear Anno project actually started because uh, Gearplug hit us up. It's a buddy of ours. He wanted to do a special upper receiver that was kind of had some design cues from uh, like block two uppers that had serial numbers engraved into them. He and I are both kind of clone nerds. So that's kind of how this project started. So hey, why don't we do a few lowers for you as well? And so we had uh, you know specific laser engraving stuff that he wanted to make sure got on the uh, upper receivers. And then on our lower, we went ahead and actually did his logo on the lower. He wanted to do some UID labels to keep with that cool clone, mm -hmm. you know, issued look. And then again with the rail, so it's another part of the the, the package would be like a subdued uh, gear plug logo on the rail as well. Right on. So what we ended up doing is we built seven, uh, we kept the one, and then we raffled two of them to raise money for FPC. Mm -hmm. But as with all of our guns, uh, the heart of the gun actually has uh, core series barrels from Criterion. Mike, you wanna chat yeah. about the barrel? Yeah, so we obsess over details and the specs and tolerances and everything else, and we like to align ourselves with companies like Ripcord that does the same. Uh, so a couple things about our barrels, um, we just take all the extra steps to make a more refined product. And also we have some new products which Ripcord has been running, specifically the Core Series barrels. So we, re we released these in 2020, and obviously last year's SHOT Show was canceled so we didn't have much of a release. But uh, the Core Series has some significant advantages over like your traditional government contour. Uh, they're both about the exact same weight overall, but the weight distribution is significantly different. And as you can see, uh, on a traditional government contour, it steps down to a pencil contour just forward of the chamber all the way to the gas block journal. Uh, that is a problem because this is also where the most heat takes place when you're using your gun. So as barrel steel heats up, it becomes more flexible and also, you know, you're going to start losing some consistency there as your barrel gets more you know, less rigid. Uh, the core series kind of fixes that problem by taking all the material that's on the front end of a government contour and putting it back around the chamber where it needs to be, and then it lightens up that front end. The uh, the first release of core series that we have is a 625 gas block journal, keeping that front end nice and lightweight. Uh, weight on the front of your gun does very little for you except for weigh you down when you start putting lights, lasers, suppressors, bipods, and all that stuff on the front end of your gun. So we've been really happy with the core series. It's been working out great for us. And we have some new releases too for this year, specifically with the 300 blackout. Uh, so this one actually steps up to a 750 gas block journal. There'll be more of that to come in 223 wild. But uh, initial offerings are going to be in 8.5 and 10.5, and those will be days out at this point uh, in stock ready to ship. So. So speaking speaking to your guys is you know the extra steps to make sure you're doing stuff right. One thing that we've noticed pairing uh, your core series barrel with like our rail and our heavier barrel nut, mm -hmm. all the weight of the gun is now more center line between your points of contact, like your shoulder, your right. stock, your grip, and your 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 front end, right? So now the lighter end is the front, and even adding a laser and light, it helps keep the front of that gun pretty pretty light and wieldy. So it's a good balance system and the um, the consistency in you guys' work uh, allowed us to be able to to manufacture, design a pretty solid gas block right. that we've we've got coming out uh, to work with the core series barrels very nicely. So right on um, very excited for that. But yeah um, it's been a great seller for us, you know like multiple different special forces units the army marksmanship unit marine corps shooting team they're all using them for different applications but uh, i think there's gonna be a lot more of uh, this type of contour in the future uh moving away from the government contour which is appropriately named for yeah. its the government incompetence that spawned its existence <laughs> but yeah well i appreciate you guys uh yeah, it's been, us out here. it's been a good show. Honestly, it's been a little bit slower than some years, but it's been great to be able to get around and talk to people. And, yeah, I was just saying, you know, so far this is my favorite year, actually being honestly, able to conversate with people, get from place to place, and actually get some stuff. I can out. agree, and I can agree with that. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot.